Hello, old friends. I am back, I'm staying back, and you won't know what that means, but basically two weeks ago, I tried to start recording one of these vlogs, and yeah, it just wasn't happening. I was not in a good place, really stressed out with work. Honestly, really struggling just to cope with the sheer volume of stuff I had going on and two trips I had planned. So I was in Somerset last week and Paris the week before, uh, and I had to still crack on with work during that. So I was trying to be a really good holiday companion, but also try and get work done. And yeah, it was just stressful. What was also stressful is obviously my whole routine was disrupted. It has been for the last six weeks because I've been um, on this coaching program, which started off really fun and energizing and then got very intense very quickly but i've come on leaps and bounds and i've got lots done so it's all good but unfortunately uh training completely fell by the wayside nutrition is like pfft, i don't even know where that is right now so today is a day that i am claiming it back and it's half past six in the morning it's the 12th of december there are two weeks till christmas and I just wanna get back to my happy place. I just wanna get back to my routine, get my diet back on track because I have not felt good. <sighs> have I been eating shit? I mean, yes, I've been eating shit, but I think the volume of it, not really tracking stuff as well. I normally don't really track on the weekends anyway, but just having, I've had two solid weeks of not tracking and I've kind of pressed the <laughs> button. It's not good. Um, so anyway, I've just mixed up my pre-workouts. I have my intro workout ready to go. I'm going to be doing a 300 workout today at the gym. So I'm starting a new program. Um, I didn't even finish the last one that I was doing with Tom's, uh, which is the Superset Shredder. I'm trying to get in um, to the gym and just kind of not making it. And the root, I just, my head hasn't been in it. So just because I've had so much on work. Um, so this week I'm getting in it like, 6 a.m. every morning and getting that done. My running as well, well it's snowing now, actually. Look how pretty it is. It's like a winter wonderland. Running in that? No, thank you. I actually pushed myself out on a run on Saturday. I didn't realize until I was driving to the park that it was minus four degrees. And I planned to do a 10K, but I stopped after five because I couldn't feel my toes, I couldn't feel my fingertips, and I honest to God thought my face might fall off. So, yeah, we were back at the car within 5K. And it was the fastest 5K I've ever done. I think it was like four minutes 54 per kilometer. Well, I'm not bloody surprised because I was like, I just need to get this over with. So I'm gonna have to find something else in place of running. And running was really good for me because I could get the dogs walked at the same time or run at the same time uh, and then get back home to crack on with work. And that's why I haven't, I only really kind of had time for that. And the rest of the time I've just been working, working, working. The gym I haven't had much time for. Annoyingly now, I have to do my cardio separately in the gym until the snow clears and it's apparently getting warmer next weekend. It's just an extra hour of my time in the day, but things have calmed down, so it should be fine. I really just wanna get back on training. I just, yeah, I, I just wanna get back on it. So back to the workout, the Super Smasher program is called. And so today's one is the 300 workout, which I'm not, I can't remember the exercises are now. Uh, chest, back, and I'm not sure, some, uh, shoulders maybe, I don't know. I'll have to double check. And the idea is I do one exercise on each and I get to 100 reps on each um, and I have to do it in increments of 15. If I can go, if I get to 15, then I've got to go up a weight. If I can't reach 15, I go down a weight. Those are the rules of the game. So yeah, it's quite a nice one to start on a Monday. Quite an energizing one. I love Tom's workouts, his programs. They're just, yeah, so much fun and so much awesome. So I'm gonna run along now to the gym, get my uh, training done. I would love to get some cardio in if I can. I've got to take the car, get, bleh, I've got to take the car to the garage uh, for 9.30 for an MOT. And then I'll walk back with the dogs. It is Monday the 11th of December. We are claiming it back, people. I've hidden the scales from myself for the last sort of week. And I actually hid them a few weeks ago, then brought them back out. And then when everything was just going to shit, I was like, do you know what? I don't need this negativity in my life. So I put them away. So I do plan on getting them out before Christmas. For now, they're hidden. Um, I can see I have put on quite a bit of weight and that's mainly been in the last two weeks. So I've got two weeks to get it back to normal. I just, I don't feel good. I feel bloated and ugh. It's just the daily, like, it doesn't matter if it's a good habit or a bad habit. Once they get going, like, they're a habit. <laughs> um, so, as much as I built up some unhelpful bad habits, um, I can just as easily replace those with good ones. So, that is what I'm doing. Anyways, enough waffles for now. I am off to the gym. Oh my God, I bloody love a snow day. Like, the gym was dead. 
the car park was dead, uh, the machines were free, the Stairmaster was free. It was wonderful. I don't know if it's the snow or because it's December, but or because it's Monday. <laughs> Uh, but maybe a Monday in December. That was awesome. I am feeling confident for the week, back on track and yeah, just fabulous. So I did uh, chest, back and biceps it was today. So I ended up doing a dumbbell incline chest press, 100 reps, and then I did close grip lat pull down, 100 reps. And then I did uh, dumbbell bicep curls, 100 reps. And then I did 30 minutes on the Stairmaster. And I think that's kind of manageable at the moment because I've still got quite a bit on. So I'm gonna to stick to an hour and a half each day. Um, prior, my workouts, it's because I've changed my tempo ever since I worked with Charlie. Like everything takes double the amount of time that it used to. It means I'm doing it correctly, but it means it's long. But I still wanna focus on, on that. Also means my um, weight is still lower, but I'm definitely stronger, not surprised because I've whacked on a bit of weight. So yeah, that's the plan going forward. Just sticking workouts or keeping workouts rather to about an hour um, and getting that cardio half an hour on the end. I'm heading home now for breakfast, which has changed in the last uh, couple of weeks. I am now eating pancakes. And when I get in, I will show you what pancakes I'm eating. So I am making pancakes and I am using this mixture here, which is awesome. It's got 36 grams of protein per serving and only 184 calories. It's amazing. Annoyingly, um, so this is the original flavor. They do um, lemon drizzle, maple syrup, butterscotch, all different flavors. So I just want to try it out. I've ordered a massive bag now of maple syrup. What I have been doing is squeezing this butterscotch um, sauce into the mixture and also on top. However, I've run out, which is annoying. But I do have honey, which is kind of ex uh, excess calories, but hey. Um, so I'm going to put a bit of that on and a bit of yogurt and a few blueberries as well. And it's super, super tasty. Basically, just mix that with 100 millilitres of water and then leave it to stand for about two minutes and then transfer it to the pan. And it's super non-stick as well. So no need to really wash the pan each time. Look at that literally just peels off it's a little bit rubbery way check that out and voila pancakes so this is literally uh only 270 calories in total uh 41 grams of protein 23 grams of carb and two grams of fat um, so I drizzled about eight grams of honey on the top. There's 50 grams of blueberries and 50 grams of yogurt. And then 50 grams of the powder, which is from bulk, by the way, just in case you missed it. Um, but yeah, I highly recommend these. It's, I want hot stuff in the winter. I love my oats, don't get me wrong, um, but they are quite high in calories and I cut them out a couple of weeks ago because I've been eating so much other crap um, that I just didn't need to load that up in the morning. This is a really nice low calorie alternative for something hot in the mornings. Just as I'm munching on these now, what I will say is they are quite eggy. So if you're not used to diet food and you don't like egg whites, you're probably not gonna like these. But I haven't tried other pancake mixes, but I've read a lot of reviews and people have said these are kind of the best and they do, in terms of volume, they make a lot. If you're dieting or cutting, um, then you'll just lump it <laughs> and get on with it. But they're really, really filling. They're, you know, a little bit rubbery. I mean, they're not the same as normal pancakes, but yeah, they're, they're quite tasty. As long as you put some toppings on them, then they're better. But I'll, I'll be interested to see what like the maple syrup one is like, um, because without actually putting that butterscotch mix in, because I've got none left, uh, I think I can taste even more of the egg and the egg whites. So just a heads up on that. Yo, yo, car has been dropped at the garage. I am out with the doggos walking in a park. Ooh, having a little scrap, the pair of them. It is super beautiful out and everybody's out building snowmen, which is nice. I've got my cappuccino. Literally simple pleasures in life. It's like one of my favorite things. So thought now that I'm not rushing around, 
as much <laughs> i would give you a bit of an update about what's been going on uh so basically a bit like when i was prepping for a show and it was all consuming that my business kind of fell to the side well that's kind of happened now that i've completely switched it around um, and been focused on business training and yeah cardio as well then sort of fell off the last few weeks because it just hasn't been a priority uh which has been annoying and stressful because it it's very much part of my routine and i like to try and do it all but i cannot do it all and so i have been doing a six week uh, coaching program i've been uh, being coached the one being coached and what started off as brilliant and energizing and you know really manageable uh, soon became still brilliant uh but really stressful <laughs> and really not manageable uh but i just battled through so we had coaching calls on monday night and thursday evenings and just so much like work to do in between obviously we're all working on different stuff and to like all different businesses in there uh so you know it's me setting the task for myself but i wanted to keep on top of everything it's been intense it's been bloody intense and then the last two weeks i've been away uh and trying to work at the same time which has just been really difficult just because I've not had my usual markers for routine. Um, I guess my sleeping patterns have been skew whiff. I haven't really been able to track food. Not that I've been obsessive about low calories or anything, but just kind of tracking and knowing what I'm eating and and also tracking like like training, like following a program with training, getting my cardio in, like, cause I haven't had that. I've just felt like, oh, what's the point? And I've kind of thrown it all out the window a bit. So that's kind of, where I've been at so that's now ended that program this week and or last week rather and that's why I just feel absolutely fabulous today and feel ready to start this vlog again uh, because I just feel like I'm in charge a bit more of my own time I haven't got the pressure uh, of other coaches <laughs> breathing down my neck not that they were I think I just think I breathe down my own neck <laughs> to be honest with you more than anybody else does I'm launching a new program in January which I'm super excited about it's called Energize at the moment I've been sorting out my social media media which kind of has been abandoned and never really kind of had a plan or strategy towards it and to be honest I'm still not sure but what I need to do is just get testing stuff so that's what I'm doing um, you might have seen some YouTube shorts on here um, that is some of my tests let me know if you like them and yeah so I've got uh, like content sorted now and filmed up until February end of Feb um, but I'm kind of in flow with that so I'm going to do 10 pieces each week it takes me about three hours to do 10 60 second videos um in terms of filming cut, editing subtitling like yeah it's just it's just a lot this is what happens when you run your own business uh you have to do all the things all the things that social media on that side we've got energize coming up um, i'm moving on to a new platform to host my courses and pop-up products and i'm going to be moving everything over probably later this week um so that is exciting and yeah stuff needs to be moved so my confidence building course i um, also got some new courses so i'm developing a, a new course for brides to be as well in partnership with uh, wedding planner so i'm very very excited about that so they've got this gorgeous um like wedding planner book like physical uh, product that helps brides plan their wedding and sort everything out um, and so i'm going to be doing all the um you know mindset health wellness lifestyle stuff um, online through a digital course to support them in the lead up to their wedding so that's super exciting and then I have decided that you know that weird weird time between Christmas and a year where you just feel like a bit poo you don't really know what day it is existence like is questionable you're kind of feeling lethargic and stuffed and hungover probably and you kind of want to get going with the new year, but it's not here yet. So you don't kind of really have the motivational push to do it. And so you just drift through that week and it's just a bit shit. Well, I thought, why not run a challenge during that week? Because it's certainly something I could probably do with. And I always like to find as much as I, of course, listen to my clients um, and put the feelers out and speak to people to find out what they want. I also, the stuff that I create is what I feel I need. Um, because I know if I can help myself, uh, then I can definitely help other people. So there's a bit of that to it as well and i always partake in my own challenges and i haven't run one for ages and i bloody love running challenges because i'm just i'm high energy and i just get all the energy off challenges and people get phenomenal results and it's just bloody brilliant 
So that is the plan. Uh, between Christmas New Year, 27th to the 31st of December, I'm running a free five day challenge called Reset, Reboot, Kick, Start. And it's gonna be fabulous. In fact, I'll drop the link below this video if you want to join us, it's totally free. That's kind of the stuff that I've got going on at the moment, which I don't know if that sounds a lot to you, but it is quite a lot. <laughs> There's a lot of moving parts to stuff. Uh, and that's kind of what I've been getting in order the last six weeks is very much that's what I felt so overwhelmed by. I'm like, oh my God, there's so many bits to this and I'm trying to do everything myself. I mean, I do have a PA, I do have a VA as well, uh, but I like to get to grips with it first myself before I start handing it over because I just like to know how things work. And also I like to figure out my way of doing things. That's a little business update for you. Uh, as for plans for me, uh, fitness wise and training and all of that, um, I'm not, 100% yet for next year but one thing I know for sure is I've got no inclination or whatsoever to do a show well, definitely not next year like yeah I just don't I thought it might change and I was saying it before and I thought I'd be like oh I changed my mind I just no the show thing's not for me but the physique that I have for the show I'd quite like to do that again. Um, so I do have a couple of photographers that want to shoot with me. Um, so I definitely will be doing a cut next year uh, because December is like mental and I'm so busy with everything. BB, come here. Oh, come, come here, come here. <laughs> Look at this dog. You're covered in snow. <laughs> You're covered in snow. Um, because, oh uh, yeah, because December's been so mental, I might actually take january off or half of the first half of january because i will need a break at some point i just can't do the break now um i've, I've actually cancelled christmas for myself which don't don't feel sad um it's not a sad thing i just i just can't be asked i'm just not in the mood i'm just not in the mood and it'll be the first year that i haven't got a tree and i just thought i'm just getting a tree for the sake of it like what's the point um i had a load of things on this week in the diary um like networking events and stuff like that. I just pulled them all and also socials. I think with me being out the loop for the last two weeks, I just I just need to regroup with myself and recuperate. I just need some alone time this week. And so yeah, I just I'm not feeling Christmassy and I just don't want to be forced into merriment because it's a day in the calendar, like, and that's the done thing. We all celebrate Christmas. Like, I mean, I've been known to crack open several bottles of champagne on a Monday night for whatever reason. I'm fortunate enough to be able to see my family whenever I want to and spend time with them. So why do you have to force it into one day if it's not, if it's not something you want to do? And it comes at the expense of everything else because again, it would just mean that what I'm focused on or what I'm interested in doing right now will have to suffer because I'm trying to make time to have fun at Christmas when really I want to stay focused on what I'm doing. So that's what's happening. That's what's happening. It's just a day at the end. Um, it's been my dream for quite a few years now to spend Christmas day alone. And you might think that sounds weird, but I guess I just love my own space. And so, well, I won't be alone. I'll have the, the dogs, of course. Uh, but yeah, we're just going to spend the day alone. I've agreed to go over to my mum's to see everybody uh, on Christmas Eve, but Christmas Day is mine. I'm having it. I don't know what we're going to do. We'll just veg out. Um, I will probably get on my pyjamas because I'll have to take the dogs for a walk. Um, but I just don't want to have to be somewhere and do something like at a certain time. I just want one day where I don't have to do that. And it would just be so nice to have that for Christmas. So that is what we're doing. Basically nothing. Having said that, as much as I'm like, oh, I'd love a lion on Christmas Day, but every time I want a lion, my mind has other ideas. So I'll probably be running at 5 a.m. on Christmas Day. Chances are, we'll see. Yeah, in terms of next year, I just, yeah, I'm not quite decided yet. I'm sure something will come up, but as you can probably hear from what I've just told you is I'm just really focused on business stuff at the moment and kind of serving others more so than serving myself because I think the... I think it's good to do things for yourself um, and, you know, shows aren't a bad thing, but they're quite a selfish exercise. <laughs> uh, but, I, you know, I think that's really good for, for people that are used to serving everybody else constantly um, and not focusing on themselves and putting everybody else before them. I think it's a wonderful thing to do something like a show prep because it forces you to focus on yourself um, or, you know, any kind of sort of fitness goals, really. Uh, marathon was on the agenda. <laughs> definitely not happening I'll tell you what in this weather I'm so glad because I would be out training now uh, for a marathon and yeah just my face nearly fell off 
on Saturday in that minus four degree run. Uh, yeah, I was, I was thanking, thanking the Lord that I decided not to do the marathon. So anyway, we shall see what comes up for the new year. But at the moment, we're pretty busy this December. Um, and for the rest of the year, just on business stuff and probably will be busy next year. Um, but definitely it's important to, to have kind of challenges. Fitness is important for me, um, keeps me driven. So yeah, we'll, we'll find something. Feel free to submit your suggestions. Anyway, I think that's, that's we're, all, we're all up to date. I think that's enough for today. And I will keep the camera rolling this week and chat to you guys. Oh man, it's good to be back. It is Tuesday, it's just gone at 5 a.m. So I was up at half past four this morning because I want to get in the gym early so I can get my weights workout done before spinning at 6.45, which I've not done in like ages and I'm quite looking forward to. Also a bit nervous about, I don't know why. Anyway, uh, so I'm going to be training shoulders and triceps today. Actually probably should be quite a shortish workout, so I'll probably throw some abs on the end if I've got time. And if I've got loads of time, then I'll go on the Stairmaster for a bit as well. Packing it all in early, a pretty busy day, um, more on kind of a personal errand front and just tying up kind of loose ends, like there's so many loose ends to do. Client gift shopping, like personal Christmas shopping for family. Um, walking the dogs, going over to see a friend in Essex, um, sorting out my heating, which is partly packed up. One of the thermostats not working. Um, I spent, oh my God, I was like in a queue of 23 people yesterday. This has been ongoing all weekend. Finally got through to someone and he's like, yeah, you need an electrician. I was like, oh. Anyway, my dad's an electrician. He's coming around today. Um, he's already been around. He just doesn't understand the heat miser system that I have. So anyway. Ongoing stuff, just sorting it out. So I've taken today more as a personal day. I wanna take the dogs over Hampstead Heath. I'm trying to just wind down a little bit and really carve out that time for me to just breathe as we kind of end the year because it's been full on <laughs> the last couple of months. Um, so yeah, I'm factoring that in. So I should be back by about half past seven. No, I'll be done by half seven. I'll be back before eight, have breakfast. Then I shall get myself clean. I normally wear makeup when I'm in for a weight session, but today, no, because I'll be sweating on a bike. Um, so yeah, I'll get a shower and, showered and sorted when I get back, have breakfast. Um, I've got my mail outs to write. Um, I've got a blog to upload, a couple of other things to do, and then I want to be over the heath. It's going to be pretty tight uh, by half past 10. So I'm back by half past 12, so I can be in Essex by half past 1, um, and then back for calls, consultations, also a nail appointment, and gift shopping. And I've also got some subtitling to do as well for some videos. It's going to take me to about 8. So ugh, it doesn't seem like a very productive day, but a lot to do. But we will get through. I better get my skates on and get to the gym. Pre-workout, about to be smashed. Intra-workout, ready to go. literally just done four sets of leg extension, four sets of sissy squats, sissy squats, sissy squats, can't even speak, it's so cold, um, in my coat, <laughs> like I've started my workout and I'm dressed like this, which I can understand in like a warehouse, big warehouse gym, but this is pure gym, it's freezing, anywho, um, it's leg day today, uh, on quads mainly, so just done my leg extension, sissy squats, uh, sissy squats, what's the matter with me? <laughs> um, and now I'm heading for uh, front squat, back squat, leg press and lunges and then I'm done and then it's Stairmaster. Oh, it's warmer down here. Job done people, half an hour on the Stairmaster, legs took about an hour and 15. So I've been in the gym, well, a little bit of chat with people so nearly about two hours so snow is still on the ground but thankfully no more forecast i really am looking forward to getting back to running actually but the stair master's working for now anyways off to the supermarkets um and then home for breakfast gotta get some christmas cards i'm just so behind with like everything i will speak to you soon oh my goodness 
Okay, yes, it's absolutely freezing, but how beautiful is it? I mean, look at this, that winter wonderland. So we're just out for our walk, I'd say afternoon walk, which would imply that we had a morning one, which we didn't, because <laughs> I've been glued to the screen working. But I'm done for the day now, so we are out in our happy place on Hampstead Heath. Uh, week is going good, uh, although stress levels are just high and I was just thinking this morning on the way back from the gym, I was like, do you know what? It's not worth it. Work is always going to be there. Like, yeah, sure, Christmas will be there again next year, but I'm just going to park a lot of the things I was planning on doing next week until the following because I'm running this challenge anyway, so I'll be on it like in work mode. So I'll probably actually have a very productive week. Well, I know I will. And that's the whole point of running the challenge <laughs> for the benefit of everyone else, but also for the benefit of me. I'm going to be like starting to wind things up work wise then just have like a chilled, calm weekend. I'm loving these walks. Um, as I say, we're just on the heat now. It's just really stunning up here. I know it's going to all like dry up soon. Uh, but I made a promise to myself after coming up here on Saturday when it actually hadn't even snowed uh, to make a point of making an effort to come up here for nice long walks just for my mental health um, and yeah just to make use of the open spaces so here we are getting some steps in at the moment sort of diet wise particularly for this week while I rein things back in um, I'm kind of knocking around the 1800 calorie mark 15,000 steps a day half an hour post workout or post weight workout cardio and then four weight workouts and actually tomorrow will be my fourth so i might even do a fifth this week um and just get it in because yeah i just I really struggled the last two weeks being away just the disruption to my routine in general but also trying to work out away and just wasn't really productive i should have just not worked but that wasn't really an option so never mind anyway we live and learn we live and learn don't we i'm gonna go head over to my mum's to see my niece who is staying for a couple of days and um, they invited me shopping earlier but I had bits to get on with so I couldn't um, but after this walk we're gonna call by hers um, and spend a bit of time with the family and yeah just chilling just chilling today chilling this week taking it easy no craziness oh, yo out Woo! <laughs> oh my goodness that's happened about 40 times so far anyway out on another beautiful walk and it's sunny this time and it's still cold uh, but not quite as bad as yesterday you'll also notice that i'm looking a lot more glowy i finally put some tan on this morning and finally feeling more like myself and human um, i've got a hair appointment later today to sort out this because this is just like well overdue well overdue and yeah having a good day so up early at well actually i was well, supposed to be up at five and i got up at four this morning uh because i couldn't sleep so i did my um client gift shopping i tried to do it downstairs but it was so bloody cold so i took the laptop to bed sorted that out sent off a really nice sport and my mason's happened someone forgot to put uh a note on it <laughs> so then i had to email them just say there's something arriving on monday uh so yeah more of the story don't do things half asleep. Anyways, got my ass into the gym around six-ish and it was hamstrings and calves and glutes as well today. Uh, and I did a full day on quads yesterday. So um, yeah, I'm gonna be wheeling myself around or asking someone to wheel me around this weekend. Uh, my, my quads are so sore, literally lying on the leg curl, which was the first exercise, of course, was like just more painful, just lying down. Anyway, we got through 30 minutes on the, uh, no, I did 15 minutes on the cross trainer and 15 minutes on the stairmaster afterwards to get my cardio in. And yeah, just been working from home, getting these guys out early. Got a uh, check-in to do um, with a new client. So I'm just rushing back, but not rushing too much. So I fall over. Uh, so I'm going to do that. And then I've got my hair appointment uh, and I've got work to take to the salon to get on with because I've been there for a couple of hours. So yeah, it's a good day. It's a good day. Woo! Wow. <laughs> Technically, I've done all my weight workouts uh, of the week, four of them. I think my legs definitely need a break tomorrow for sure. Uh, so I might make Saturday a cardio day and maybe do some, because I've got spin class, and maybe do a weight session on Sunday um, and then have tomorrow off. I don't know. We'll see. That's the current update. I'm going to say ciao for now and concentrate where I'm walking before I fall over again. Friday morning and it is minus four degrees. But 
it's lovely out. I'm with the doggos on Hampstead Heath and we got here about half past seven this morning to walk over and watch the sunrise on Parliament Hill which I'm on now just approaching the top I shall show you the epic view. It's probably about quarter to nine now. Watch the sunrise, went down to get a coffee which was delicious, went to a new coffee place, lovely cappuccino and then just walk back up now to see the sun in its full beam. Well, I'll say check out the view but it's pretty misty out there. Hey. How cool is that? So this is our happy place and this is where we wander up to well I say we, I mean the dogs are pretty happy most of the time uh, but this is where I come to clear my head and just take in some fresh air and I really like being whoop I'll slip over again I just really like being high up when my mind is like all cloudy I just find I get a perspective when I'm like looking across London or looking out and down it just makes you feel lighter yeah oh god so yeah I highly recommend if you're ever feeling like just like oh like the world kind of on top of you is just go and get your place get yourself somewhere high that you can just look out across and just breathe and get some perspective so we're just trying not to fall over <laughs> getting a few more steps in um, and wandering back up to Kenwood House back to the car we've got a couple of calls today but quite an easy day just finishing off workbooks for the challenge which i started yesterday in the hairdressers oh i've got my hair cut which is a lot more even now and also the colors back in so i'm feeling much more like myself uh yeah i was just a mess at the beginning of the week like my nails are falling off my roots were like down the end i had no tan on and um, yeah restoring order I do not going to do this afternoon. I'm hoping, yeah, I should get the workbooks done by lunchtime and then I should have the afternoon free. I'm at no training today. My legs are absolutely killing. They're better now that I'm walking, but oh my God, my quads and my glutes now. Yeah, my legs are just, I'm just walking not very well. But yeah, no training today, no cardio today. Tomorrow I'm doing spin. Yeah, that's it. Uh, but anyway, I'll check back in with you later. Hello, oh my God. I am cooked, like my brain is just fried. What time is it? Quarter to five. Quarter to five on Friday. I've literally been sat freezing cold with that blanket on at my computer for God knows how long, but hours, all day, all day basically. And no more good productive work is gonna come out of me. So I'm calling it a day. I'm calling it quits, but it has been very productive. So all good. Um, and also I managed to bake some cookies uh, earlier, which uh, the jury's still out on those, um, but they were these ones from Bulk chocolate and hazelnut flavor. So I added two eggs and 50 grams of coconut oil to that mixture and made them up and then made these cookies here. So I've had about three. They're quite, um, they're quite spongy and they're a bit sort of cake-like, but they're quite dry. So, I mean, they're all right and they're quite high in protein, but yeah, I'm not sure I'm gonna buy those again. But what else I did get from Bulk um, is these diet noodles. Now I haven't had these for years. I used to buy them I can't remember the make, but I know they do them at most supermarkets. And you know what? They are bloody great. And um, particularly now because it's freezing cold. Um, so what I've been doing is making up like broth. <laughs> so that's just hot water and um, chicken stock. So I just use the Knorr stock pots, which I've got loads of. Um, I've got beef and vegetable ones. So I just put one of those in, which is about 28 calories, um, and then some beans and broccoli. And I have some chicken here, which I've weighed out, which is 100 grams. I'm just in the habit of weighing stuff out, so I just always do. So I'm gonna pop that in there. Oy. And then here are the noodles. If you haven't tried these, I highly recommend them. So I've just rinsed them with water. There's about, these are about 16 calories, so eight calories per serving, which they say is 100 grams, but I'm not gonna cook half a pack and yeah, so anyway. Just popping that in there. Just give that a bit of a stir and just heat those up, warm them through. It is super tasty. Um, and they just, they the texture wise, they're like, like real noodles, which is really good. However, <laughs> what I've noticed the last couple of days is, um, yeah, they make you pretty gassy, pretty gassy. So actually I probably should have half a pack because um, it's a bit of an overload. But if you're dieting, um, then they are great. And even if you're not, I just think the texture's, texture's great. I mean, noodles just are really like dense on the calorie front and I love noodles. So this is a perfect alternative. Picking up these 
soups type things like that are just perfect for winter and also get some water in as well for hydration so yeah winner all round so this is what i've been living off um this week because it's just been so damn cold um and it's been warming me up i need to go outside and walk the dogs again oh, i don't want to it's very dark um and very cold but I will because I know I'll feel better after it and they need to go out as well because they're just going stir crazy. Just chilling in this evening. Um, brain just a little bit frazzled. Uh, I need to block some stuff in for next week. Uh, but I am very caught up on the work front, which is good. Um, I decided earlier this week, I was like, do you know what? I don't really want to work that much next week. I need a break, like a proper break. And there's no reason why I have to drag stuff that I can do this week into next week. So I've just had my head down working hard on that. I think I might do a check-in tomorrow, although I had some quite a lot of wine last night, um, smashed quite a lot of calories back last night, and I'm probably gonna do the same again tonight, let's not lie. But I'm gonna brave it. I'm gonna do a check-in photo. The scales have been hidden for a number of weeks now, buried in the cupboard underneath clothing where I can't see them. So I'm gonna get those out tomorrow, tomorrow and weigh myself and see where we're at and then do a check-in and share it with you we can see yeah because tomorrow will be exactly three months um since show date so it's the 17th of december tomorrow and show day was 17th of september let's see what tomorrow brings hello it is saturday and i am just in from the gym and i am making myself a tasty brunch so i had some smoked salmon in the fridge that actually should have been eaten by the 12th and it's the 18th today i'm sure i'll be all right so i grabbed myself some sourdough which is a real treat I don't keep bread in the house because I just can't be trusted, but I'm gonna slice that up and put it in the freezer. When it's in the freezer, it's all right, but yeah. <laughs> when it's out, I'm like, I need to eat it because it's gonna go off. And like, I just love sourdough, I just love bread. So that is what I'm having for breakfast. It's coming up to 12 and I haven't eaten yet. So I did my cardio fasting. I gave myself a lie-in this morning. I actually woke up about six and I was like, no, just sleep. So I had a good, nearly like 10 hours last night, which I really, really needed. So I got out of bed probably about quarter to eight. Um, went on the Stairmaster for about half an hour and then did 45 minutes spin. I just, I love cardio because it's just quite a repetitive thing. So I do a lot of my thinking when I'm doing it and it's just easy. It's just easy. Like it's just, you can take your brain out of it and you just get on with it. So I do like my cardio days and it's just nice to have just that for the day. I'm aware also that yesterday morning I said, I was like, I'm going to take the afternoon off and I'm going to do something different. And I ended up working, um, but never mind. I am gonna try and have an easier week next week. It's helped getting the stuff that I did yesterday afternoon done uh, because next week is just a bit clearer. So I just wanna get it done. I just wanna get it done so I can chill out for Christmas um, because I've got this challenge literally kicking off on Boxing Day, because I'm gonna be live on Boxing Day um, all the way through to New Year. So that's just gonna be a pretty mental week. And yeah, so I just I probably need next week off, to be honest with you, um, as much as possible, and do some quarter one planning, which is definitely my plan on Monday. I have um, a session with three other ladies in business uh, to do that with, and also I think I'm gonna go into town for an actual physical workshop uh, by my friend Jason Greystone. It'd be nice to do a bit of Christmas stuff because I'm not really doing much, although I am out this evening for a friend's husband's 70th birthday and his first art exhibition as well, so that's quite exciting. So that's my plan for later. I'm gonna go live on Instagram um, to tell everybody about the challenge uh, today. So I'm gonna eat this, then I'm gonna go and get myself cleaned up, um, do that live and then take the dogs for a walk. And then because I've gotta be in town by six, I've actually gotta start getting ready at like three-ish anyway. So that's my plan for today. But what I did do this morning was get the scales out <laughs> from the place that I hid them, buried in the cupboard under um, handbags and shoes. So I got this out this morning and I stepped on them and actually I thought it was going to be a lot worse and I also took my measurements as well and I did some check-in photos. I will share that with you shortly um, but let me eat my food, go and sort myself out and then I'll be back to talk about how we're feeling about post-show three months which is what it is today. With I'm three months post-show exactly today so 17th of december okay so it's not the 18th it's the 17th of december and the show was on the 17th of september bang on three weeks out and just before christmas as well like literally the stats could be a hell of a lot worse so i will be back in a jiffy to talk to you about those hello i am clean and dressed and ready to start the day at 
two o'clock in the afternoon. Um, God, it's been a slow starter, but I did my live. I've just done that. I'm going to take the dogs out for a walk and then um, I'm going to get back and get changed and go out for the evening, which I'm really looking forward to actually. Uh, it would just be nice to uh, go out and do something a little bit Christmassy, even though it's a birthday party that I'm going to. But mm -hmm. yeah, as I said, I'm not kind of doing Christmas this year and I've just been so busy like to, to even go out anywhere like and do anything and do you know what it's been so damn cold i haven't really wanted to let's talk about where we're at stat wise i lay there actually this morning i was thinking to myself i was making a bet with myself of what the number would be on the scales not that the number is the be all and end all means anything but obviously having not weighed myself for a very long time and i normally weigh myself daily i was like oh how wrong could it have gone? Actually, I was very pleasantly surprised. I thought I would be over 60. I thought I'd be 60 something, 60 point something. And it turns out, you'll love it. I've, I wrote my measurements on my advent calendar, my lovely gin and chocolate advent calendar that Abby bought me. Thank you, Abby, I love it. So 58.4 kilos is what I weigh today. Now, I was just trying to pull up some stats um, from, pre from previously, uh, but I'm struggling and I'm also short on time to go through like everything because I don't have access to FitPhase um, where everything was logged when I was working with Charlie and Pro Physiques. But what I do have is my weight from when I started working with them. So when I kind of went into this prep, although we did a, basically a mini cut for four weeks and then we started doing a lean build and then we went into prep, um, where I started at the beginning of the year um, in March was 62.6 kilograms. And that is that actually is my normal kind of weight. Now, I said to myself after I finished the show that I wanted to maintain about around around 59, under 59. I didn't want to go over 60, just as a, a little figure. Not that the weight necessarily means anything, but it was just more to keep myself on track. It just gives me a bit of a marker just to know when things are a bit off and I might need to pay attention at what's going on in my life if... I'm eating or drinking, you know, in excess. And I will say I'm an emotional eater, an emotional drinker. I think it's very common with a lot of people. And so, yeah, so putting on weight, just as losing a lot of weight, you know, can sometimes be a real indication of something not right with the body or something not right with the mind. That's why I kind of sort of set that. And also because I have no um, future plans of competing. So I don't, I wasn't planning on obviously doing a cut. If I was uh, next year, then I probably would have gone like, oh, sod it, because I'm going to sort it out in the new year when I go into prep. Because that's not happening, I very much really wanted to maintain what I, what I say built. Um, yes, built, but also just like the whole kind of shape that I was, the whole, the whole sort of physique that I have. I really want to kind of maintain that because um, I feel good and I like looking and feeling good. So I want to maintain that. Why would I throw that all away? I think a week out from Christmas, uh, weighing that um and also the measurements which i'll tell you in a minute uh is not bad going it's not bad going so i'm quite proud of myself so when i started working with them my waist was 69 centimeters after the four weeks um, mini cut that we did it was down to 66 um, and today i'm 65 so i'm happy with that my glutes started at 98 centimeters in march after a month's cut they were 94.5 and today they are 93 so they're still under i haven't gone right back to how i was thighs were 57 in march they are 52 today so they're definitely um, Lena, um, my chest was 88 and it's 86 today and my arms pretty much like have stayed the same the whole year I think they were like only like 29 on show day and they're 30 today and they were only 31 when I started out in March I need to grow, I need to grow these really happy with that and in a really really good place with everything as for next year as I said I've got I've honestly got no desire to do a show again I love dieting, I really enjoy dieting just the whole process of it um, and just it's something that you're in charge of, isn't it? You know, you can manage yourself, you can manage your, your food, you can manage your exercise, like, and I find it really promotes productivity in all areas of my life uh, when I'm, you know, prepping for a show um, up until the final weeks and then it starts ruining everything else in my life um, because like I, my body just can't really function and, you know, it's just stressed out. So, and my mind as well. Um, so I really enjoy the dieting. I am going to be shooting with a couple of photographers next year. So that does give me a reason to diet down. I wouldn't book a shoot to diet down for, that doesn't make sense. Um, but I did win the shoot. 
um, with Alex Whiteman. Um, so I want to do that. And also a, another brilliant photographer really wants to shoot some body skates with me. So that's great because they're kind of already there and that just gives me something to work towards. So I do need something to work towards. Most people hate dieting. I really, really enjoy it because it just promotes so many positive things in my life so long as it's not ridiculously extreme like a show prep towards the end um as i say and then it starts ruining everything so i will be dieting in the new year um i will not be doing a show i really can't see it happening at all um i probably will find some sort of challenge to do but i'm just not sure what that is yet uh, but you know business is a massive massive focus for me right now and i just yeah want to want to focus on that and competing with anything really does take over your life and I I would have to take time off work because it's not fair to my clients uh, for me not to be fully functioning in in myself and my mind like in order to serve them the best so that's it really this is pretty much the week um done so I'm gonna chill tomorrow wrap some Christmas presents and edit this video so I can get it out to you before Christmas. Next week, as I said, is gonna be relatively chilled. Just more kind of forward thinking, quarter one planning for business, life planning for me. I've got everything kind of pretty much tied up that I need to work-wise. Everything's set up for the challenge. I've even printed off my workbooks today that I've made. Like if you fancy joining in on the challenge, please come and join. I would love to hang with you between Christmas and New Year's Day, New Year's Eve rather. Um, so it's running from the 27th to the 31st. I will pop the details in the comments below. So if you wanna sign up, there, there'll be a page, well, I've already done a page there that has everything you need to know about it on. So go and check that out and then uh, just sign up and come hang with me, cause that'll be cool. But otherwise, I'm gonna wish you a fabulous Christmas. I really enjoyed doing the vlog this week. I have, um, I probably won't be saying that when I've got all this footage to edit tomorrow. <laughs> But I, I'm actually gonna try and keep these kind of vlogs going. I'm hoping you're enjoying them. And as always, if you've got any questions, then just let me know, drop them in the comments below. I always reply. And if you've got any suggestions of things that you wanna see um, or anything that you want me to kind of record, um, then please do let me know. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it there. So Merry Christmas. I hope you have a wonderful Christmas day and Boxing Day with your loved ones, whatever you're up to, and wishing you an amazing 2023 and a super happy new year. And thanks for being on this journey with me this year. It's just, it's been awesome. I love you guys. All right, I'll speak to you soon. Bye.